Well, usually it, my paintings have to be funny somewhere. Um, and usually when I'm really stuck and I'm trying things, when something strikes me as funny, I know that I've rescued myself somehow. There's a character that's totally upside down and he's wearing a bolo tie. And um, upside down, when you look at it, you think that bolo tie should fall down. <laughs> you know, it should flip down because it's upside down. And you don't, when you're seeing just a normal tie, you don't think about it one way or another. It's just so much a, a sort of a, a costume. It just looked funny. It just looked funny that the bolo tie was upside down. Another thing that happened like that in a painting was um, one of the first faculty meeting paintings I had. I do small studies about this big, and then I enlarge them, and then I go from there. So in the small studies, the part under the table was just flat. There was nothing there. When it got big, yet something had to go under there. Now, if I put the legs under there the way that they should logically be in reverse perspective, they would go off the bottom of the painting and the whole painting would flatten out. So after spending weeks, maybe months, trying to figure out things to do under the tables, one day I took these little tiny legs and put them under this table and I, my husband's always my greatest helper, but he kind of, I put them under there and I just started laughing because it looked so funny, these little tiny feet and these very big looming figures. So I called him in to see it because it was just funny. And he said, well, you know, I think that probably works. I said, no, that doesn't work. I just wanted to show you because it was really funny. But it worked, you know, and I ended up keeping the little, the little tiny legs and I ended up then doing a lot of things where I would make those kind of drastic kind of shifts, un unexpected shifts. In, in space to make to make something work, but they just seemed um, really funny when you know when I looked at them.